there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you're just here for the math language logic lessons, click nyo lang yung ID to sa taas. I'll just put a different video dyan sa links na yan. Now, this video is different kasi it's not about that. It's not about math language or logic. It's actually about something that I'm very passionate about. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, um, last October 10, so just a few days ago, uh, yung World Mental Health Day. And on October, dito sa Philippines, is our Mental Health Month. And I feel na it's really time for us to talk about it. Uh, matagal ko nang pinag-iisipan kung paano ko ito gagawin. Actually, I already talked about mental health, depression, anxiety, and a bunch of other topics in my old blog when I was still younger, so a few years back. Um, and I'll link yung aking blog site na lang din sa baba if you want more articles about that. But this time, it's a little different kasi it's in the form of advice. Now, um, bakit siya advice? Kasi a few weeks back, some of you started sending messages na medyo themed din dito. Ibig sabihin, magkakahawig. Uh, I got messages from people who are going through depression right now. I had messages uh, from people who are with people who are going through depression right now. Now, there was even someone who asked me, ano daw ba ang tamang ta tawag sa taong depressed? Do you call them someone suffering from depression? Or do you call them a depressed person? Ano daw ang mas magandang tawag? Now, I, I really love that question kasi ibig sabihin itong person na to was sensitive enough to even ask that question. Ibig sabihin gusto niyang, gusto niya to get it right. Gusto niyang tawagin na ang tama yung nangyayari sa friend niya. And, um, ito yung aking advice, sabihin ko na rin sa inyo, People first na kasi yung phrasing natin. Ibig sabihin, bago mo sabihin yung sakit, sabihin mo muna yung tao. So, instead of saying na this is a depressed person or this is a bipolar person or OCD person, hindi dapat ganun yung pagkakasabi. Ang mas maganda would be to say, um, he is someone or he is a person with depression or a person going through depression or a person who is going through anxiety or has uh, anxiety issues. Obviously, person first before the the mental health illness. Okay? Huwag niyong tawagin, ah, depressed person kasi, kasi yan. Or ayoko, lalo nung suffering from depression. I think we should drop yung suffering na word. Uh, going through would be a good word kasi yung suffering, parang life sentence na, ano yun, ganun na lang siya, forever na na siyang suffering. So, what you could say would be struggling or uh, working through or going through. Yun yung mas magaganda siguro. Terms. Now, why is it so important for me? Because uh, if in case you're not familiar with it, I'm, and I'm not going to dive into it deep, deeper, I'll do it in a separate video na lang. Pero I actually go through depression din in my life. I've been clinically depressed for, well, diagnosed with clinical de depression at least uh, twice in my life. Ito yung mga major na depressive na seasons in my life. Um, and uh, I actually went through that when I was younger pa. So, medyo yung tinatawag na depressive person or I go through depression multiple times, I have seasons of that, I, I have that issue. So, I go through that then and uh, God has been gracious naman for the past uh, three years since I started actually making videos and uh, helping people out when it comes to aptitude tests. Parang hindi naman, wala pa akong major depressive episode since then. Uh, pero it's really something that I felt personally and something that I go through and something that I really want to talk to you about. Now, first things first, first ano ba ang depression? Bakit ba siya ganyan? Hindi ko na itatakal masyado ngayon. I'll just put it in a separate video, no? Pero ang gusto kong munang i-establish is, is that depression is real and that depression is a real illness. Uh, in other circles kasi hindi nila recognize yan as truth. Parang feeling nila nag i lang or anything like that. So, kung ganun yung feeling ninyo, we'll just talk about that in another video. This video in particular is in response to one of you guys who sent me a message. Now, yung message niya reads like this. Hindi ko na sasabihin ng buo kasi medyo sensitive yung ibang topics. Pero basically, meron siyang friend who is going through depression and depressed ngayon. And this person doesn't know what to do to help. So, sabi niya sa akin, para coach, paano ko siya tutulungan kasi hindi ko siya naiintindihan. Paano ko siya tutulungan? Gusto ko siyang tulungan, kaya lang natatakot din siya na baka may magawa siyang mali. And again, I'm very, very grateful na there are people like that who are willing to help other people na nagdadaan sa depression. So, nakakatawa yung feeling niya na yun. Eh. Parang gusto, gusto ko kong tumulong, pero hindi ko alam ko paano gawin. And I did reply to that person, no, medyo lengthy. Kaya lang na-realize ko, marami pala yung may kailangan. And since, yun nga, Mental Health Month ngayon, magandang sabihin na lang din sa inyo yung advice ko instead of writing it down. Okay, so ito yung advice ko if, again, you, uh, you know someone is going through depression or you feel like someone is going through depression, how do you help them out? 
Okay? Now, the first thing that I advise ko sayo, if you feel like someone in your life is going through depression or if you really know na depressed yung isang tao or that person is going through depression right now, first piece of advice is letter A, acknowledge their feelings. So, always start with that. You have to acknowledge their feelings. Ang pinakamahirap kasi is pag meron kayong uh, pinagdadaanan, actually kahit hindi ka depressed, di ba? Kahit na regular na emotion lang. Kapag hindi ina-acknowledge yung feelings mo or kapag sila sabi na, ano ba yan, nag i ka lang or ang drama-drama mo kasi or bakit ba kasi ang OAOA mo. Yung mga statements like that, those hurt and ang um, common response Lalo na sa akin, no, nung nagdaan ako sa ganyan, ang common kong response is, instead of binavocalize ko talaga yung feelings ko or ina-act out ko siya or fini-feel ko siya, pinupush ko siya away. And yung pushing away na yun could actually be worse for that person. So kung kunyari, malungkot siya, hayaan nyo siya maging malungkot. I-acknowledge yung feelings niya. Na, okay. Parang hindi ko alam exactly kung ano nararamdaman mo ngayon, pero I do feel na, or I sense na, ang malungkot ka ngayon. And uh, I respect that. So, you can just say something like that. Ako kasi, hindi ako masyadong... I, I veer away from saying that. Kasi yung iba, di ba, pag nagpapayo, sasabihin nila, parang, ay, naku, alam ko yan, galing na ako dyan. Or, ano, ganyan, naramdaman ko na rin yan. Alam ko rin, kinaya ko naman. Never think na kung ano yung nararamdaman ng tao, although pareho kayo na sitwasyon, ay pareho na nararamdaman mo. How do I know that? I actually have a twin sister, right? Magkakambal kami. Our DNA is the same. We go through the exact same experiences in life. Pero kahit nakambal kami at pareho kami na pinagdadaanan, iba rin yung emosyon namin about a certain thing. So alam ko yan, bata pa ako na ganun pala ang tao, hindi pala magkapareho ng nararamdaman. So kahit na kunyari, pareho naman kami na nabuli, ganun, ang response ko is going to be different sa response niya. At kung isang statement ay sinabi sa amin, kahit pareho yung pagkakasabi at pareho yung nagsabi at pareho kaming sabay sinabihan, pwedeng iba yung pagtanggap ko sa pagtanggap niya. And yung feelings na yan, those are valid. So, first thing, acknowledge their feelings. You, you don't need to say na naramdaman ko na yan, pero you can say na parang I can sense na, na, na nalulungkot ka ngayon and allow yourself to feel feel that way. You can be honest with me. Okay? So, kung ano naramdaman mo, I'm here. Parang ganun lang. Yun, which is yung leads us to point number two, yung aking pangalawang piece of advice, letter B, be with them. Be with them. And uh, it's going to be hard. Ayan, na-primer ko na. Kasi some people, hindi naman lahat ha, pero there are people who go through this na kinoclose off talaga yung sarili nila. Ayaw nila na nagpapasok ng tao sa kwarto. Ayaw nila na may kasama. Pero yung ayaw na yun, actually, hindi naman talaga ayaw yun. Kadalasan, one of the pillars, pinaka-root cause of depression and anxiety and everything is loneliness. To help your friend not get lonely, try to be with them as much as you could. Kahit na sinasabi nila na parang hindi okay lang ako, okay lang ako, huwag, huwag ka nga alis agad. So, tanin nyo, sure ka? Pwede ba? Kahit hangout lang, just, ano lang, hindi ako mag-iingay, promise, dito lang ako. Samahan nyo lang sila. Kasi yung company na yun, yung presence ninyo can help uh, by a lot, okay? Yung levels natin ng hormones, especially happy hormones natin sa katawan, which aids in um, fighting depression then and dealing with it, at least for the meantime, Actually, nai-increase yan kapag you're with someone. So, mapapansin niyo there is even a uh, mental health illness before sa DSM-4 pa yan noon, no? DSM-5 na kasi ngayon. Yung seasonal uh, affective na disorder. Ibig sabihin, pag nagpapalit ng season, kadalasan may mga nagkakaroon ng symptoms ng depression. Ibig sabihin, mapapansin din natin to lalo na sa mga countries na merong winter or fall. Kapag winter, there are people who are more prone to commit suicide or to go through depression. Kasi, pag winter, mag-isa lang sila sa sa bahay, hindi sila nakakalabas to socialize, hindi katulad ng pag summer, di ba, nakakalabas ka. So, kapag lagi ka mag-isa sa kwarto, lagi ka mag-isa, there is a, a negative effect sa iyong emotions and sa iyong feeling. So, just being with that person can actually help by a lot. I know that kasi one of the things that my younger sister used to do, kapag nafe-feel niya na I'm going through that season in my life is to just bug me, constantly be with me. And all of these tips kasi yung nasasabihin ko sa inyo are things na nakatulong sa akin na ginagawa or ginawa ng ibang tao sa akin, especially si Jana yung bunso namin. So, kung nafe-feel niya na parang okay lang, hindi na ito lumalabas ng kwarto si ate, ginagawa niya, pupunta siya dito, kahit na hindi ko siya pinapansin, uupo lang siya sa bed ko, tapos yun, dyan siya magtatrabaho, dyan siya mag-internet, yun, doon lang siya, kinukulit-kulit niya lang ako. So, just being with her actually helps me kind of dig myself out of the rot. Number three na advice, this is actually very important, no? Kaya lang kasi yung acknowledgement tsaka yung being with them, yun yung pinaka-quick na first aid. Pero yung number three, hopefully if you have that certain trust level with them, you can actually coax them into getting professional help. 
okay? Coax them into getting professional help. Ano ibig sabihin ng coax into getting professional help? Kasi um, hindi naman tayo ang magiging solusyon talaga doon sa problema. That's the thing with mental health illness. Eh. It's not one fix. Ibig sabihin, kahit yung gumagana sa akin may not work for you, yung iba nga kahit gumana yun sa akin before, hindi rin gagana sa akin for me right now. So, anong ibig sabihin? Maganda pa rin if meron siyang professional help. Now, I'll put links sa baba uh, ng mga agencies that could help you. There's actually a counseling center and a hotline meron tayo sa Hope. And um, recently then, it came to my attention then yung sa Back to the Bible. So, I'll link the information na lang din sa baba. You can actually suggest that they go or mas maganda samahan mo sila um, to actually get professional help. Iba kasi yung pinapayo ng kaibigan sa pwedeng maipayo ng isang professional. At saka, hindi natin nandidiscount yung possibility na maybe their condition needs extra help, maybe they need meds, maybe they need um, behavioral therapy or anything like that. So, coax them into getting professional help. That's a really good piece of advice. Okay? Number four, letter D, do something with them. Now, yung do something with them, hindi yung gawan mo sila ng paraan, ha? Ang ibig sabihin ng do something with them, engage in an activity. Okay? The activity doesn't need to be expensive, pero ang recommended ko, it has to be something na medyo physical. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Ask them to walk with you, uh, mag-trampoline park kayo, mag-running-running uh, kayo, kahit mag-akit kayo ng bundok, no? These are things that could actually be helpful. Hanging out by the beach can also be helpful. Now, um, my younger sister used to do that with me a lot. Um, one of the periods in my life, uh, around around the time that I lost everything, no? And I actually medyo talked about it na rin dun sa story ko when I was featured sa 700 Club. I'll link that video na lang din sa baba. You can watch it, no? I went through another um, season ng life ko na I got depressed again. Uh, around the time before I started this channel, actually. And during that time, what my sister would do is, ipupwersa niya, pinupwersa niya ako lagi to, to get out of the house. So, <laughs> lagi niya ako nangyayari na parang halika, um, mag-steak tayo ate or mag-ice cream tayo. Basta gagawin niya, pinupwersa niya ako maglakad sa labas, sa arawan. Kasi actually, the sun, even sunlight lang, kahit maarawan ka lang, it does wonders for your mood. It lifts your mood. So, dadali niya ako sa park or sabihin sa akin, ate, samahan mo ako dito sa lugar na ito. Maglalakad-lakad lang kami sa East Avenue, maglalakad kami sa, sa circle or anywhere. Sasama niya lang ako kung nasan yung lakad niya. Para lang maarawan ako or para lang makapag-exercise ako. So, an actual physical activity can, can really help. Yung mga trampoline park na mention ko kanina, hindi ako sponsored ha, pero medyo helpful din talaga siya. Kasi actually, try ninyo maging malungkot, no? Try nyo maging malungkot ng tatlong minuto kang tumatanong sa trampoline. Medyo mahirap. Okay? So these are, again, activities that can, can engage that person. Um, kasi tayong, tayong mga tao, yung ating emotions at saka yung ating katawan, medyo interactive yan. Ibig sabihin, uh, kapag maganda yung estado ng katawan mo, kahit pa paano natutulungan niya yung emotions mo. So, yun yung importansya ng physical na activity. Kung hindi naman niya kaya maging physical, so talagang, kaya kaya hirap siya na actually exert himself. Kasi one of the symptoms of depression is, yun, lethargy. Hindi ka maka, parang hindi ka makabangon, wala kang energy to do anything. So, hirap ka talaga sa ganon, or hirap talaga siya, or ayaw niya talagang lumabas, another outlet would be do something creative. So, activity pa rin. Mag-paint kayo, mag-sculpt kayo, magtahi kayo, anything na magiging creative outlet niya rin. So, do something with that person. Okay? Your next piece of advice is E, encourage him or her. So, encourage that person. Now, ito yung pinakamura kasi laway lang ang puhunan or text or message. Pinakamura pero medyo nakakapagod din. And I understand that. Okay? Now, bakit, bakit ko sinasabi yun? Kasi, um, ako rin, I've dealt with depression by myself. I went through that a number of times. I, I acknowledge yung tulong na nagagawa ng ibang tao sa akin. And there are times din na ako naman yung nag-encourage or tumutulong sa mga tao who go through depression. That is actually one of the reasons why I took up psychology as my degree in college. You know, kasi I really wanted to help more people. Now, um, one of the things na napansin ko kahit about myself is that when we encourage people, madali tayong mapagod. Ano ibig sabihin? Di ba yung pag sinabi mo na, maganda ka naman eh, yung ganun. Tapos pag paulit-ulit, ayaw na natin inuulit. Parang, Ano ba na sabi ko na yan kanina? Paulit-ulit naman tayo, no? E nakakapagod siya. Pero, ah, maganda talaga if you can learn how to encourage people na walang hinihing kapalit or hindi nagtatampo kapag hindi sila naniniwala. Now, bakit ko sinasabi yon? Kasi, there is something that we call yung negativity bias in psychology. Kaya siya tinatawag na negativity bias kasi na-observe na natin yan sa maraming-maraming tao. Ibig sabihin, 
you can not say na it's a fact or a law, pero na observe na yan na phenomena na yan. Na tayong mga tao, we remember things na negative better than the positive things. Ano ibig sabihin? Alam niyo minsan um, na may nangyari sa inyong isang bagay, pero ang natatandaan niyo lang yung mga hindi maganda. Samantalang marami naman nagawa yung person na yun na mabuti din sa'yo. And guilty din ako about that. For example, kahit sa mga review events natin or doon sa mga charity events ng Team Laika, there are times na ang ganda-ganda nung nangyari or uh, exciting naman. Pero pag umuwi ako sa bahay, ang natatandaan ko yung mga palpak ko, yung nabulul ako, or na may isang tao doon na hindi masyadong uh, mabait or naging rude sa akin, yun yung natatandaan ko instead of the hundreds of people who were there. Let me give you an example, okay? And uh, I don't want you to go all, alam nyo yun, parang magalit naman kayo at mag-defensive mode kayo sa akin. Um, I've been dealing with this for the past few days, pero um, gusto ko sabihin sa inyo, just to set an example, at saka para sabihin sa inyo na it really happens, uh, hindi, huwag nyo nang hanapin ko sino yung tao na to, ha? Hindi ko sasabihin yung pangalan, hindi ko rin at sasabihin yung itsura. Um, pero ang nangyari kasi was, uh, last week sa Horizon Ministries, we held yung ating Upcat Poop Set Review. So, there were 300 plus kids who were there. Plus, plus yung mga volunteers from Horizon, we, who were so great and so gracious sa atin. Sobrang babait na mga tao doon, okay? Ganon karami yung tao. Now, at the end of the event, uh, meron kasi yung time to take pictures. No? Sa harap ng Horizon, may 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 naklagay doon na wall na may maganda. So, sabi ko, sige, pag nag, gusto nyo ng picture doon na lang, kasi the kids started asking for pictures. And actually, one of, yun yung isa sa mga fun experiences for me. Although I have social anxiety rin kasi, um, natutunan ko na to enjoy that. Kasi kahit pa paano, I get to interact with you. Small talk lang, o oh, kamusta ka, saan ka galing, ganyan, ganyan. Nakikilala ko kayo. Kasi kapag nasa stage ako, tas katulad nun, 300 plus yung bata, narulungkot ako kadalasan kasi hindi ko sila nakakausap. So, yung dun sa dulo, yung parang meet and greet natin sa picture time, na-enjoy ko talaga yon. So, again, huwag kayo mahiya at any point, if you see me around and you want to take a picture or just talk to me, I would love that. I love interacting with you on a personal level, no? So, that was happening, no? Nagpapapicture yung mga bata, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. And then, there, there was this one guy, isang lalaki. Um, nagpipicture kasi dito sa side na to. Tapos, dito sa side na to, tinatawag niya ako. Sabi niya, ma'am, 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 ginagano niya ako. So, syempre, dahil tinatawag niya ako, lumingon ako. Tapos, nung paglingon ko, alam niyo yung, yung ginagawa nila, Tito Vic and Joey, ganon, or sa comedy skits, sa, sa palabas, yung nakanguso siya, nakanguso siya dito. So, pag, nung paglingon ko, buntik na kami nag-kiss. And, uh, sobrang, parang ako minuusa ng malamig na tubig nung nangyari yon Kasi hindi lang siya, hindi niya lang ako chinachansingan. May, may camera pa siya, nakaganyan siya sa, sa phone niya. Pipicturan niya pa. Um, and, sorry ha, medyo nalalamig pa rin ako hanggang ngayon, affected pa rin ako doon sa nangyari. Kaya lang, nabastusan talaga ako, tapos sobrang, sobrang na-offend ako doon sa nangyari. Kasi, I don't have a good history when it comes to that. And again, I'll tell you about that in another video. Pero, um, hindi talaga ako ganun. And, um, I only had one boyfriend before. And kahit yung boyfriend ko noon, hindi ako, hindi kami nag-kiss or anything. Or hindi, hindi siya nakaka-kiss sa akin kasi I wanted to save that for the altar. So, itong stranger na to, na hindi ko kilala na lalaki, he had the nerve to actually chancingan ako nang naka-video or naka-picture pa sa mismong event with a lot of people. So, nagulat ako, parang, bakit ganun? Sabi ko, talaga yung naramdaman ko, ibang-iba talaga. And, gusto ko siyang sampalin, gusto ko siyang awayin, pero hindi ko magawa kasi ang daming bata na nandun, ayoko naman na mag ko. So, politely, tinula ko na lang siya. Sabi ko, hindi na, hindi na. Tapos sabi niya, ay, hindi na po, hindi naman nakunan, sabi niya. Tapos hindi na, hindi na, ayoko na, basically, ayoko na magpa-picture with him. So, yun yung event. So, that was one thing na nangyari. Now, yung buong araw na yun, nung Saturday, magaganda lahat nangy nangyari, right? I, I got to help more people. I got to interact with the Horizon people who were so kind. Tapos, after niya naman, after niya nang umalis, ang dami naman ding bata na sumunod na nag-thank you, nag nakipagkwentuhan, ganyan. Pero, ang malungkot na part is, because of negative negativity bias, Ang ganda ganda nang nangyari na Saturday, pero hanggang ngayon, ang naaalala kong moment was that. Ang naaalala kong tao was that person na sinubukan akong bastusin dun sa event na yon. Yun yung tinatawag na negativity bias. Ibig sabihin, tayong mga tao, kahit na ang ganda ganda ng mga nangyayari at maraming magagandang nangyayari sa atin, yung mga negative na sitwasyon na ganyan, yun yung kadalasan na nag impact sa atin and yun yung tumitira sa atin. Yun yung lagi nasa isip natin. And honestly, for the next few days, 
um, like I posted doon sa Facebook, I had to sort myself out kasi na, na ano talaga ako eh, nagimbal na, na ako doon sa nangyari na yun, na, na, nalalamig pa rin ako hanggang ngayon just remembering it. Kasi hindi ko talaga alam, parang alam mo yun, yung epekto sa akin yun was kabastos-bastos pa ako, naka, nakadamit naman ako, na, hindi naman ako, alam mo yun, yung may ganong victim, victimizing of yourself. And I know how, how wrong it is, no? Alam ko yan, pero irrational kasi yung feeling. So, ganun yung pinag, pinagdaanan ko ngayon. Um, and again, yun yung epekto niya. Now, how do you, con- how do you contradict yung negativity bias? How do you counteract yung negativity bias? Okay? Masabi ko nga sa inyo, encourage people. There is a magic ratio. Ang magic ratio actually is 5 is to 1. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Okay? So, 5 good words, 5 good things versus 1. Ganon yung nangyayari. So, para makalimutan mo yung one negative thing or para maniwala yung friend mo na mabuti siyang tao or na maganda naman siya or na uh, mabait siya, kailangan mo yun sabihin five times versus yung isang beses na narinig nyo sa imang tao. Ganon ka nakakapagod mag-encourage. And I think, iba sa inyo, comment na lang kayo sa baba, makakarelate kayo dito. Alam niyo, may, may, minsan may kaibigan kayo na, ano ka ba, hindi ka naman mataba, or hindi ka naman, mag, hindi ka naman pangit, or ano, matalino ka, hindi ka, hindi ka bobo, hindi totoo yan. Lagi mo sinasabi, pero hindi sila naniniwala. Kasi sometimes, you have to say it at least five times pa. Para lang mabura yung one time na narinig nila yun from someone else. So, yun yung, yun yung nakakapagod na part about encouragement. Pero ang akin kasi is, just don't stop saying those things. Don't stop encouraging other people. Kasi, uh, darating, darating ang pagkakataon na yung sa dami ng inihagis mo, may isang doon didikit. May isang beses na maniniwala siya sa'yo. Or may isang araw na magsasalamin siya, tapos tamang-tama yung tama ng araw, tapos mapapaisip siya, ay, totoo nga, tama pala yung sinabi niya. Maganda rin naman pala ako. Okay? Sa tamang ilaw lang. Yung mga ganun, those are things na makakatulong sa tao na yun. So, again, encourage and don't, don't stop. Number six, this is something that I think magiging excited kayo about. Letter F, feed them. Okay? Feed them. Now, bakit? Kasi like I mentioned din kanina, tayo kasi, and this is my belief, ha? ang tao kasi, we have body, tapos we have your uh, soul and your spirit. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Yung katawan, yung kaluluwa, at yung spirit. Yung spirit mo is yung emotional side. Okay? Mental side, emotional side. Yung body is this, physical body. Tapos you have your soul, which is kung ano yung napupunta sa heaven after you die. Or sa hell. Well, depende, no? Pero yun yung soul. Yun yung pinaka-metaphysical mong being, no? So, ngayon, dito sa sa world, syempre, yung tatlong yun, nag, nag-interact yun with each other. And yung body mo, at saka yung spirit mo, or your mind, your emotions, closely knit yan. Na-influensya niyang isa't isa. So, kung na experience na yan, di ba? Alam niyo yung pagpagod na pagod ka, di ba? Mainitin ng mainitin ng ulo mo or matampuhin ka na agad. Or yung tinatawag nating hungry, di ba? So sikat na sikat yan term na yan. Mga taong gutom, di ba? Laging galit. Tapos after din ang nakakain, bigla mong susorry na lang sa iyo, so pasensya ka na ha. Sorry mo shadow kay emotional kanina, masyado kong matampuhin kasi gutom lang pala ako. Yun yung same na logic dito. Na kung yung katawan natin is in a good state, kahit papaano it helps heal yung mental state din natin. Kaya it's very important for you to feed people. Now, uh, one of the things din na ginawa nung bunso namin then was, kasi ang ginawa ko nung, um, I was a little bit better na about it. Nung first time kasi ako na-depress, I was really young. Uh, nung etong huli, yun nga yung uh, few years back, uh, medyo mas matanda na ako siya. Yun, naaral ko na rin uh, how my body works and how my mind works. So one of the things I do is I write down a list of things that I like to eat. So, may listahan ako dito sa, ilagay ko siya sa gilid ng pader ko. So, yung mga bagay na gusto kong kainin, mangustin, uh, gusto ko ng steak, gusto ko ng strawberry ice cream with real strawberries, yung mga ganun, mga maliliit na bagay. So, I had that up on my wall. So, one of the things my younger sister did was, tinignan niya yun, tapos, ako ano yun nandun na hindi ko pa na cross out, ibig sabihin, hindi ko pa nakakain recently, binibili niya sa akin or niyayaya niya ako to go out. So, di ba na-mention ko na kanina niyayaya niya ako mag-steak? So, yun yun, kasi nakita niya rin nandun sa listahan ko ng food. One of the things na lagi kong ginagawa rin kasi when I get depressed is I stop eating. So, I don't keep, take care of myself. So, pag hindi na ako kumakain, mga ilang araw na akong hindi kumakain, sinus- sinisigurado niyang may kakainin ako. So, pagluluto niya ako ng paborito ko or bibilan niya ako ng gusto ko, um, anything to force me to eat, to get me to eat, to encourage me to eat. Although hindi niya naman ako pinapagalitan na, di ba, kumain ka, tas, parang hindi ka kakain, tas depressed-depressed ka. Wala siyang, hindi niya ako binabalata ng ganun. Pero, she used to make sure that I ate. Uh, kahit konti lang, basta pinapakain niya ako lagi. Kasi, very important yun. Di ba yung, 
pag, pag warm yung belly natin, yun yung sinasabi, warm belly, warm heart. Ibig sabihin, pag may laman yung belly mo, yung puso mo, kahit pa paano, sumasarap din yung pakiramdam. Di ba? Um, I think you have you've, ano dito, experienced this then before. Alam mo yung pag kumain ka ng bagay na, or ng food na masarap. Di ba? Yung ako nga, uh, I had a friend before who said na hindi ko daw maitatago kapag hindi ko gusto yung pagkain. Kasi, uh, pag sumubo daw ako, tas gusto ko yung pagkain, my eyes light up daw. Tapos, yun, I do a little dance. Hindi ko, sina, hindi ko sinasadya, pero napapasayaw ako pag gusto ko yung pagkain. So, yun yung ganong epekto, hopefully, can, kahit pa paano, reignite that person's positive feeling. So, make sure that you feed them. Okay? Now, ano yung pang seven? This is the last piece of advice na iiwanan ko sa inyo. Yung last piece of advice na ito is actually one of the most important, if not the more, most important of them all. Pero nilagay ko siya sa dulo. Baka yung iba sa inyo magtatampo kasi sabihin, bakit mo nilagay sa dulo to? Dapat sa una. Pero ang reason ko kung bakit nasa dulo ito is kasi if you do this last piece of advice, this is what will enable you to keep doing the first six. Now, ang keyword doon is keep. Keep doing. Bakit? Kasi yung first six, you can do it. Sa totoo lang. Kahit nasa sarili mo lang, yung you just care about your friend. You can do it maybe one or two times. Pero, kapag naubos niyo yung listahan, one to six, okay, punta ka sa number seven. And pag ginawa niyo itong number seven na to, ito yung mag enable sa inyo na bumalik uli sa list. Sabi nga ni Brian McKnight, back at one. So, babalik ka sa one and to do it again. Okay? Ano yung number 7? The number 7 is letter G. Go to God. Pag sinabing go to God, ibig sabihin, kahit na, di ba, nandidiscourage ka na, or nandidiscourage ka na for your friend, or siya mismo nandidiscourage siya, or is going through depression right now, you can always go to God. Now, this is going to be hard, lalo na kung kaya you don't have the same religion or belief, katulad ng iyong friend. Pero, ito yung masasabi ko dyan. Whether your friend wants it or not, Okay, you can always pray for your friend naman. So, in your own personal time, always pray for your friend who's going through that. Kasi iba yung nagagawa natin as people, pero iba yung touch ni God. Iba rin. Hindi natin discount yung possibility of a miracle happening and God touching your friend and healing your friend. Okay, so always pray for your friend. Now, always pray for yourself din. Kasi pray for yourself na magkakaroon ka ng enough grace, wisdom, mercy, Tsaka yun lang, perseverance to keep helping your friend. Kasi kung hindi kayo hihingi ng tulong kay God for your friend and for yourself, mapapagod at mapapagod ka rin. Lalo na if chronic yung depression ng friend mo. Ibig sabihin, lagi siyang nagdadaan sa mga ganyan. Okay? So, always go to God. Now, kung pareho kayo ng belief or if willing siya to join you, mas maganda. Okay? Ask your friend, can I pray for you? Um, and if he or she agrees, then you can pray with her dun sa mismo moment na yun. Kasi, iba yung feeling, iba yung power din ng prayer kapag nandun. Kaya lang, don't force it naman. Kasi yung iba naman, parang, ang feeling nila, parang magic. Magic yung prayer. Ha? Sorry for for the air quotes, no? at saka doon sa term na magic. Pero, totoo yun, kasi iba kasi parang feeling na, oh, yan, na, napag-pray na kita, dapat okay ka na. And, I actually went through that, no? Nung first bout ko with depression, I remember a group of well-meaning, I'll call it well-meaning, ibig sabihin, gusto naman nila ako mababuti, no? There were a bunch of older people in the church, the leaders of the church, who came and, um, basically, nag-cast out nila yung depression ko at yung kalungkutan ko, no? Um, now, again, ang problema doon was, after their prayer, they kept asking me na, okay ka na ba? Ano na? Di ba, di ba okay ka na? Ganyan. Eh, hindi. Eh, nung time na yon ha? Nung time na yun, hindi naman ganun yung naramdaman ko. Kasi, medyo nag-freak out lang ako. Kasi parang feeling ko, is there something wrong with me? Bakit? Aba, parang ako na yung kinakast out. Parang ganun. Tapos, nung, nung sinabi ko na hindi pa ako totally okay, parang na-offend pa sila or nagalit sila. So, medyo tricky yung subject na yun. Kaya, huwag niyong pilitin naman na parang magic pill yung prayer. It's, it's a process, okay? Pagdadaanan niyang process na yan. And one of the things na realize ko is that, kasi, um, yun, I had to go through that then so I can help other people. So, yun yung na-realize ko about myself. Okay? So, go to God for grace, go to God for wisdom. Tapos, if you could pray with the person, mas maganda. Kung hindi, respect the, that fact and then just pray for them sa personal time ninyo. Okay, yun yung, yung maipapayo ko. Pero don't keep asking the person na, oh, di ba okay ka na? O, dapat okay ka na ngayon kasi napag-pray ka na. Okay, hindi, hindi siya laging ganun. Just be open to the entire process. Okay? It may take a few times before it actually takes. Ibig sabihin, alam niyo, pag uminom ka ng antibiotic, di ba? Kunyari, imaginein mo, kasi ang mental health illness is just like any other illness. Na, consider mo siya na parang totoong sakit. Alam niyo yun, kunyari, umuubo ka, di ba? Ang lala na ng ubo mo. Tapos pag uminom ka ng isang beses ba, okay ka na? 
Di ba, hindi naman laging ganun. Ang antibiotic nga, kahit di ba, magaling ka na or mukha ka ng mas okay or pumapasok ka na sa work or sa office, tatapusin mo pa rin yung 7 days, right? Na uminom ka ng antibiotic. Parang ganun din yun. So, hindi siya laging nag-work na isang inom lang okay na. Sometimes, di ba, kailangan mo pa nga magpalit ng gamot kasi hindi gumagana yung una. Ganon din siya with this. So, ang pinaka prayer ko for you, that person who asked for this advice, at saka yung iba rin, kasi marami na rin na nagtanong, ang prayer ko for you guys is for you to have more grace and more wisdom and just be rel relentless in loving that person. Um, nakakapagod talaga. Nakakapagod na maging that person who helps a person who is going through mental uh, illness. Pero, sobrang fulfilling din niya. Kasi, that's what we're called for. We're called to help other people out. So, um, just cap it lang and try to take care of yourself while you're taking care of, of another person din. Okay? So, yan. Hopefully, kahit pa paano nakatulong sa inyo. And again, you can, I'm open to your suggestions. Maybe if you have a piece of advice, maybe you went through depression or you know someone or you got to help someone din go through that. You can write a piece of advice sa comment section sa baba. Ano yung mapapayo ninyo? Kung kayo naman yung uh, may gustong ipayo dun sa tao na ito. Anong pwede nilang gawin for someone who is also depressed uh, or going through depression? Comment na lang sa baba. Okay? I'd love to hear your your suggestions then. Okay? So, thanks guys. And uh, if you want me to do more of these types of videos, comment na lang din sa baba. Um, again, hindi ko to maihihiwalay kasi sa sarili ko. Kasi aside from being your teacher... Diba, like I said, I prefer that you call me coach. Kasi uh, pag sabing teacher, sa school lang yun, eh, academics lang ang tinuturo. Pero I'm more of a coach kasi I want to be involved then or kahit pa paano help you a little bit in your life, whether inside or outside the testing center. So kahit tapos na kayo mag-exam, hopefully, um, yung mga bagay na to, something na mababaon ninyo kahit sa totoong buhay. Okay, so that's my payo. Ito yung payo ni Ate Laika for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, if you want... Uh, to send your own problems or ask for my advice, you can go to my personal Facebook page. You can go to www.facebook.com slash atelaikamaravilla. That's different from the Team Laika page kasi yon doon ko sinasagot yung mga personal na mga questions like this. Alright? And uh, for more motivational quotes, um, how to follow my life and my what I do, stuff like that, doon ko rin nalalagay. Kasi everything na nasa Team Laika, more on the exam side, yung sa Atelaika Maravilla, yun yung personal side. So, that's it, and uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram, uh, you can go to ang uh, aking handle ay at like Maravilla din. Uh, some of the questions din na pinapadala sa akin, doon din nakukuha. So, thank you guys, and uh, that's it. I hope na katunod to kahit pa paano. Never stop learning. Kaya yan, aja-aja. I'll see you in my next video, and bye for now.